The Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa was established in 1996 and has a vision of an Africa where democratic governance, human rights, and citizen participation are upheld peacefully. The Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa Zimbabwe's work is funded by the European Union and they strive for excellence in the promotion of credible elections, citizen participation, and strong political institutions for sustainable democracy in Africa. Well, the, the EU believes that good governance is key, in fact, for uh, inclusive and sustainable development. In that context, uh, we support uh, good governance through the electoral cycle approach. We use a two-pronged approach. On one hand, we provide support to ZEC, uh, Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. And on the other hand, we also provide support to promote a more conducive environment for credible elections. The, EU, uh, the AESA grant can be seen within that context and has three objectives. One is in fact for ZEC to engage with the different stakeholders. The second one is to inform citizens better through improved voter education. And thirdly, to kind of um, support the media for more accurate reporting. So our um, collaboration with the European Union uh, started way back in 2012, but uh, for the current election phase, uh, we started receiving financial uh, support from the European Union in 2016, in July to be precise. And that support enabled AESA to provide technical support to the ZEC in the areas of outreach. This includes providing space uh, for the Electoral Commission to interface with political parties, uh, civil society organizations, faith-based organizations and the media. But uh, most importantly, it also allowed us to help the Electoral Commission in shaping the content for voter education. In September 2011, the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa opened a field office in Zimbabwe, where they provide technical support to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission in several areas, including introducing a multi-stakeholder approach to electoral management in order to contribute to inclusive, peaceful, transparent and credible elections. Way back in 2006, in 2003 up to 2006, we worked with the Electoral Institute of South Africa, as it was called then, to come up and work out the, uh, the PEMO, which are the guidelines for the ECF SADC when we're setting up. I'm a signatory to that. And therefore they've been with us for a long, long time until they came when they changed the name and it began a global relationship and processing and working. Then we signed an agreement with them. And since then we've worked with them. From 2011, when they came to set up an office here, we started working with them, trying to set up community-based uh, management EDR systems that would address conflict and disagreements at the local level. AESA has contributed immensely to the development of the electoral process in Zimbabwe. For example, we had um, quite a, 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 a number of uh, voter education material that uh, AESA assisted uh, ZEC to develop, to print, and also to ensure that uh, these voter education materials are printed and availed to the electorate in sufficient quantities. 
Within the context of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's five-year strategic plan, the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa provided support in their administration and also collaborated to provide voter education to Zimbabwean citizens through a consultative process with stakeholders. The Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa also worked with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission to support its contribution to the timely resolution of election-related conflicts and information sharing with stakeholders, including political parties and the media. The media is key in the process of promoting credible elections and the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa has contributed by organizing media workshops that facilitate discussions on best practices and expectations of the media. I believe that the support that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission received from the EU through the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa was uh, timely and relevant in that it focused on a number of uh, areas that needed improvement. These are areas that in previous electoral cycles had been flagged as um, areas where improvements needed to be done. So what the EU support to the Commission uh, through AESA did is that, uh, for instance, it um, strengthened um, the quality of stakeholder engagements that the Commission itself uh, conducted between itself and the different, you know, the wide range of stakeholders, electoral stakeholders that we have in the country. For instance, um, we saw through that assistance um, the Commission engaging on a more frequent basis with um, civil society organizations, with church-based or faith-based groups, and also with uh, electoral contestants themselves, who are the political parties and, um, uh, and, and also um, the media itself. A number of capacity building workshops and training sessions were undertaken by the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa to help with voter education. Um, ESA has been quite helpful in supporting uh, the voter education programs, right from the designing of the materials and the production of the materials. Um, ESA uh, also funded the engagement uh, meetings and uh, um, training workshops that ELSEC held for its employees who are involved in voter education together with the civil society organizations. Through the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa's funding from the European Union, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission has also managed to strengthen its relationship with CSOs, mainly on public outreach. ASA has been assisting uh, in terms of building a relationship between CSOs and ZEC by creating pl uh, platforms where would uh, receive training, particularly under the voter education department. We benefited a lot through their capacity building training workshops on voter education and also message uh, development and also implementing of the broader voter education strategy for the commission. ASA comes in as a strategic partner when we talk of voter education in Zimbabwe. For us as Youth Empowerment and Transformation Trust, Voter education is at the heart of uh, our election programming. Why? It's because uh, from an informed perspective, uh, we conducted a youth analysis and a research uh, last year before the 2018 elections that uh, stipulated and revealed to us that the greatest challenge in terms of participation of young people in elections has been the lack of information to do with elections. So ASA provides us with an opportunity as CSOs to conduct voter education. Voter education, the disease is a lack of information. Uh, the diagnosis is voter education. Through the funding and support from the European Union, 
The Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa has been able to focus and achieve notable results in the following areas. Stakeholder consultation, political parties engagement, voter education, mass media engagement, election administration, and conflict management. Besides, let's say, the ESA uh, support, we also have um, broader support to uh, democratic governance under the 11th EDF. 11th EDF and to that extent we will keep on engaging uh, with the government uh, to look at strengthened in institutions as well uh, increase uh, citizens forces and better accountability systems all of course uh, aligned with uh, the Zimbabwe constitution. The elections are not an end in and of themselves. They are meant to enable development agenda to take root. They are about creating a conducive environment for the sustainable development goals to be achieved. So when we talk about elections and funding for elections, then donors will then say, oh, hear what you are saying. But we still need to know what the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe is intending to do so that we see how then the elections fit into the entire uh, you know, uh, infrastructure. So I am hoping that the, all those who are concerned can move with a bit of speed to give certainty and direction in terms of whether they immediate, mid-term and long-term uh, plans. Mm -hmm.